hi welcome back to my channel i'm going to just go straight into the video and i'll be showing you how to take your peplum game from this to this i'll just be showing you how to insert or what makes your peplum to look this way and i'll be showing you how to line your flay when you have crinoline inside this is what the crinoline looks like it's a stiff textured material and these are the things that you need you need your bias tape your hemming gum i'll be using this crane line i get i buy this for 150 naira a yard and then a matching thread so you just want to cut out your flay if you've not if you don't know how to cut out your flay this is a circle skirt pattern i'm going to leave the link just click on it and see how you cut out your circle and this is also the lining so this is right size facing the right size of the flay. Up close, this is what the crane line looks like. Just if you want to buy it in the market. I bought I bought mine in the market. So but if you want to buy it in the market, you can buy it where they sell tailoring accessories, hat making accessories basically. So you just want to use your crane line to mark out or measure out how much you need at the bottom of the flay. And then you cut it out you cut out the, the quantity of crinoline you need and then using your bias tape you stitch on the edge of the crinoline this will help to conceal the fraying at the edge because when you cut your crinoline it frays a lot you need to you know tape it down or use a bias tape just to prevent fraying and then you flip it and you flip it and then stitch as well so this secures the ends of the crinoline. line i'm not the greatest fan of crinoline line bias tape sorry but i guess i have to work with it the good thing is that this is hidden in the lining so it's absolutely fine and then you want to stitch down just like i'm showing you and we have that sorted you also want to do this for the other side the length of the cranial line you would need would be the total circumference of the bottom of the flay basically the next thing you want to do you want to take a, your hemming gum i'm going to zoom in now but the hemming gum is like a tissue paper it has is is an adhesive but it feels like tissue paper you want to stitch it on the edge of the crinoline. line it could be at the top edge or at the bottom edge whichever one is fine i want to stitch this all the way to the end of the crinoline. line yeah yeah this this shouldn't be much of a big deal it's just basically stitching this process is actually very easy just talking about cranial line when you see a dress a mommy skirt a six pieces skirt when you see a a flounce that kind of has structure that is fluffy and then has structure in it then there are two chances that it's either a crinoline or a boning these two things are commonly used for fashion to give structure to an outfit that's why it's very important a roll of crinoline should be a roll of about 50 yards of crinoline should cost about six thousand naira that should be dollar to naira is 490 that should be around 20 dollars not sure but that should be around 20 dollars 20 dollars and then people also sell half roll of crinoline should cost um 12 dollars actually wow dollar to naira so once you are done you want to place your 
crenoline line that you've sewn your hemming gum on to the wrong size of the lining now i'm going to be placing it three quarter inch away from the hem of the lining away from the hem of the wrong side of the line so i just place it away from the hem three quarter inch that's three over four inch away from the hem of the line and then i'm going to stitch down you don't want to pull too hard on the crinoline line you just want to sew don't stretch it because if you stretch it it will start to wave up so just sew and don't pull sew and do not pull sew and just keep feeding it through the feed do not pull sew don't pull take your time it's better you take your time than have to loosen it again because if the crinoline line doesn't lap properly it's going to resist it's going to resist like when you resist Satan, when you tell Satan, no, leave me alone. It's going to resist. Sorry, I'm <laughs> it's going to resist anyways. So just keep sewing and feeding in. I left a quarter of an inch because when I'm sewing the lining to the main fabric, I'm going to take away about a quarter of an inch, and then the remaining half inch is for the hemming allowance. You'll see what I mean in the next clip. just know that i'm stitching the crinoline line that has the hemming gum the quarter of an inch away from the hem of the lining i want to do this all the way to the very end keeping in mind that you've used your bias to secure the edges of the crinoline, line the top and the bottom edge of the crinoline. line does it have top and bottom? Okay, the left and the right edge of the cranial line. So for this peplum, I have three layers. It's just very unfortunate that I didn't take pictures because I was in a hurry to finish up this blouse. It's the reason why I did not even film, but this is a fail-proof method. I think I just named this video fail-proof. Fail-proof. And then this is what it looks like looking pretty it's okay it's fine the next thing you want to do is to take your fabric your main fabric and then your lining now your lining is already having your cranial line and the hemming gum stitched together and you want to place your fabric right side facing right side the lining and your fa fabric right side facing right side now this is what I mean the hem of the lining is going to come out a quarter of an inch it's going to come out a quarter of an inch this will help to lap in the lining i don't know the right terms to use but the whole idea is so that the lining doesn't come out or bulge out at the hem of the fabric like when you when you make it when you're done sewing if you don't do this the lining and the main fabric will be at equal length what it means is the lining might be showing at the very tip this is a very common method for even sewing your skirts your blouses or any other thing that you'll be sewing and then the next thing you want to do is to just do a top stitch holding down the seam allowance towards the lining and then we're coming to the very end the most interesting parts after this process we're going to get to the very interesting part so if you've gotten to this point i guess you've been enjoying this video and you want to see more of zubi coco so please subscribe to my channel give this video a thumbs up if you find this video useful click on the bell notification sign to get notifications you don't want to miss good stuff that i create i create fun sewing content so you don't want to miss all of that and also let me know have you ever tried you know to use a crinoline line do you think that this is something you know this was easy do you think that it's easy you understand it just let me know your thoughts in the comment section below plus also let me know how much kernel line you sold in your area so let's keep going how much do you buy kernel line one dollar two dollar if you're not in nigeria what currency and how much i buy it here 150 naira 
for a yard so that's how much i buy it here in nigeria by the way if you don't know i'm in nigeria so you want to keep doing this just be very patient keep doing this to the end you top stitch at less than a quarter of an inch i usually just use the sewing foot to guide me to the very end when i'm top stitching we are almost done almost and we are done so the next step is to iron it this is i think this is the fun part because here the gum starts to melt the gum is the hemming gum and it starts to melt and it's just going to hold the crinoline and the fabric and the lining together and this is what the end looks like i don't have a full picture i'll see you in my next video